Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so, Lynn and I love to go on one wheel rides. Uh, these things are pretty awesome if you haven't seen them before. And we ride all over our town. So, our fenders have been getting pretty beat up, right? Yeah. So, huge notches. We've wiped out a few times on these things. And we had stickers all over these. And... I thought it would be kind of a fun project and maybe a way to, you know, get back into uploading some videos. We are gonna paint these and then do some really cool designs on them. Okay, so now we're gonna try spray painting these suckers. I'm gonna do mine white. It reflected. Okay, let's see. Looks like galaxy. That is kind of cool actually. Yeah, Lana's decided on this teal color, so hold it up. Let's see it. It's really pretty. Okay. You're doing pretty good, actually. After we got our fenders painted, uh, it was time to start sketching out our ideas. Elena was a lot smarter than me. She uh, sketched her idea out on paper. I just kind of winged it. I uh, started sketching directly onto the fender and this is what I came up with. Bunch of little robot guys and kind of a main cyberpunk girl, uh, robot girl, whatever, but I liked it. So now it's time to paint and we're just gonna use uh, regular acrylic paints for this. Um, I actually didn't prep for this at all. I just on a whim, it was a weekend, I'm like, hey, Elena, you wanna paint our fenders? She said, yeah, so we just, everything we're using in this video we had on hand from painting on canvas and stuff like that. So these aren't special paints, they're just acrylic paints. So going into this little project, uh, I knew that this was gonna be some trial and error, just experimentation. I didn't even know how the water-based acrylics were gonna work on top of the spray paint and things like that. Um, so I, I, and I, the other thing too is we beat these boards up pretty bad. Uh, so I can guarantee pretty much that this isn't gonna be the last time we spray paint these boards and paint on them. Uh, so I, I'm approaching this as a reusable canvas. Uh, so the first layer of acrylic paints that I'm using here I'm just kind of seeing what things look like. I kind of have a color scheme in mind, like an 80s um, or cyberpunk. The anime on Netflix just hit, and I was watching that. So a little bit of inspiration from that, uh, those color schemes. So it takes several layers of paint to kind of like get a nice, smooth finish. Uh, I was pretty lazy with, lazy with some of this stuff. I definitely could have spent spent a lot more time on this drawing painting. Uh, I just was, I knew I was experimenting. I did. I knew that I wasn't sure how things were gonna turn out. So I wasn't willing to put too much time into this thing. I just kind of wanted to get something cool down on the fender and just go through the process. All things considered, I was fairly happy with, you know, how things turned out. Um, especially once I started at, like at this stage, I was like, you know, I'm not, I don't know how this thing's gonna go, but then I started adding outlines with the Sharpie pins, which you'll see here in a second, and things actually started to come together pretty well. So I used like more of a fine tip Sharpie uh, to do my outlines initially. Uh, you can really see uh, the girl there, I, I kind of started with and defined things a little bit. Um, again, I was experimenting with this, so just trying to figure things out. Uh, this is Bug working on hers. Uh, she, since she did a blue kind of teal painting, she she watches art videos all the time on YouTube and they suggest, you know, throwing down some white to help cover 
so you don't have to do as many layers of your colors, um, which Elena is always watching, like I said, our videos, and she's always really prepared. She knows what she's doing. So I was really impressed. I didn't give her any direction whatsoever. Um, she pretty much handled this whole thing on her own, which I always feel that that's pretty important. I want, I, I try to give her instruction, tell her things and stuff, but I also want her to figure things out and I want her to have fun, uh, with the projects and stuff. So, and I think she did an amazing job of just tackling this thing. And she had an idea that she wanted in mind. Her sketch was great. Um, and so, yeah, I, th I thought hers turned out amazing. And here's Elena's finished fender. Uh, again, turned out great. Um, she's been drawing dragons lately. I don't know if any of you drew as kids or anything, but you always get in these, like, these themes. And she's on dragons right now, so that's her board. Uh, so right here, um, you can kind of see me work with that fine tip uh, Sharpie. Um, again, I wasn't sure how the Sharpies would hold up with the, you know, with the paint, uh, things like that. Um, at this point, I'm actually wasting time. I'll show you, uh, cause I'm using the fine tip to go on the outsides, but later I decide that I wanted things to pop a little bit more. I wanted some thicker outlines on my characters just to make them kind of pop off the board a bit more. Um, so I've, I went over some of these lines multiple times. Uh, and then actually again, so I did this process, this outlining process three times, uh, initially on this, and this is just lack of planning on my part, um, wasting time because what I end up doing eventually is I actually add a, um, another base of yellow over the top. Cause I felt like the white was just looking a little too, bit too plain. Um, but as far as how the Sharpies worked, uh, they worked great. Uh, I got really, because I was going to use a paintbrush. I watched some other videos where people painted these um, and they used brushes with black paint. And I felt like, you know, knowing that these things probably weren't going to last a whole lot, a uh, whole bunch of time or anything like that, I opted for the Sharpies just because I could get cleaner lines than a paintbrush. Um, and I could get a lot more detailed with this than a paintbrush. So it's the route I took. Uh, I will say when I started using the clear coat at the end of this video, you'll see that some of the Sharpie lines, the heavier Sharpie lines, um, bled a little bit on mine, uh, a tiny bit on Elena's, but not really noticeable on hers, but a couple of lines I'll show you later really bled when the clear coat was put over the top of this. If I did this again, I would use Sharpies again though, because I just have a ton more control uh, over the Sharpies. In fact, I might even do a whole board without any paint whatsoever, just because um, I used gold Sharpie, silver Sharpie, all different colors of Sharpies, and th those were some of the best parts of the of the piece. So um, right here you can see I'm using the thicker Sharpie to add some real thick outlines to the characters. Uh, this I really like to help kind of pop all the illustrations off the board really, you know, define the characters. Cause as you'll see later, it gets really busy. I added a ton of like design, just uh, random hieroglyphic looking designs to everything. And I knew I was going to do that. So I knew I needed to define some of those characters um, so that they would stand out. So the Sharpies were looking great, but I still felt like the board was missing something. This is the point where I decided to get pretty crazy and I took a yellow spray can that I had and just kind of went over everything. Uh, so right here you're seeing actually after I did that, I then decided to add all that design work that I was talking about in. I also had to go over all those outlines that got covered by the yellow spray paint. So I redefined those as well. At this point, I called it good enough, so this is when I add the clear coat. Um, I went to the Home Depot and just picked up a can of this. I did two coats, um, and it actually ends up looking pretty glossy. I was surprised. Uh, you can see on that orange lightning bolt right there on the bottom left, that's where the Sharpie bled a little bit um, underneath the clear coat, and it could have just been that I got too heavy with the clear coat on my first pass. So in the future, I might be able to, you know, 
minimize that a little bit. Now that the boards are clear coated, it's time to screw them into the board and we're gonna take them for a ride. So what do you think of your board? I think it's really cool. Like the color better? Yeah. Pretty awesome. Dragon. So now you're riding mine. Once Emery gets uh, one wheel, then uh, she gets to paint hers. Hi, Ems. Hey, bug. Look and see if you can see them um, over there. You can only see the tops of their ears. Hello, little deer. Hi. Well, that's the video, guys. Hope you liked it. Uh, we had a blast painting these things. Like I said, I'm sure it's not the last time we're going to do it. Uh, so anyway, I will catch you guys later and thanks for watching.